In fact, that's what we're gonna do. Number four, number four is not eating enough protein. Now on a traditional ketogenic lifestyle, the amount of protein you eat, I think doesn't exceed 15% of total calories. So a lot of times that's maybe like 96 grams a day for the average height and weight of a person, right? Let's say it's that. Now I'm not saying you have to like overeat protein and have like six ounces of protein in a meal, but three to four ounces of protein or 20 to 30 grams in a meal, that's totally fine. And I think you should do that. And I, I would encourage you to eat that much protein. That's a little above the, the common recommendation. I've seen ketogenic macronutrients that look like 10% protein, 90% fat, zero carbs, where they're basically eating cheese, cheeseburgers every single day without the bun. All right, some people do that. But again, when we're trying to lose weight, I don't really give a shit what your macronutrients look like. I'm all about trying to make it so that your appetite is suppressed and you're comfortable. You don't feel like you're restricting your calories. You don't feel like you are under eating. You feel like you're satiated. You're getting pleasure out of your food, but you're also not overdoing it, right? I don't give a shit if it's keto. I don't care if it's balanced carb. I don't care if it's high carb. If you are losing weight or you're maintaining your weight, if that's your goal, if you're healthy, if your appetite control is under wraps, who cares what your macros look like, right? With the exception of not eating junk food just because you're one of those, what is it, IFFM, IFFYMers or whatever. Yeah, we'll, we'll take save that for another episode. But I'm, I'm pretty stingy on that. I'm pretty stingy on the idea that you need a macronutrient profile that's going to get you the results you're looking for and not the other way around. Now, for a lot of people, finding keto has helped them understand that, and that's why that's important. And that's really the benefit of keto, is to basically strip everything down to something very simplistic and understand the importance of fats, because for the last you know 50 years, we've all thought fat is gonna kill us. And now we're starting to realize that's not true. That's a huge benefit. So keto has its ups and downs, but again, that's why we're focusing on these keto mistakes, because I want people to understand that keto is not a uh, godsend, it's not a save all. There are mistakes like anything else, and we need to know about it. So not getting enough protein. If I'm working with somebody and they're consistently overeating, and I look at their protein, nine times out of 10, it's too low. So I up their protein a little bit. I keep, I you know obviously decrease their fats a little bit, make sure they're getting some kind of fiber, works pretty well.